Alright, you are live. Hello there, I am Rawmaster2, and I'll be running Red Alert 2, uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2, a classic real-time strategy by the defunct Westward Studio. Kane lives in death. This is my friend Voland, he is helping me out with commentary. Hi, I'm Voland, and I also uh, speedrun Red Alert 2. I have some records. I think between us we have all of the records on Red Alert 2. Yes, he has the hard difficulty, and I have the easy difficulty. There's a, uh, some minor differences between the two, but it depends on your preference. This, uh, what I'm running here is will be the Allied campaign on the easy difficulty, as it allows for the fastest stress to beat all 12 missions in under 45 minutes. You may see, you may have seen the runs at the other uh, marathons, like European Speedster Assembly in 2015 and 16, where Tiberian Sun and Generals were played. I picked this game up in particular since it's my favorite in the whole series, and after watching Joseph S1K's run on YouTube, felt the record could be improved some. I have since beaten all of his mission times and improved the single segment record by over six minutes. I feel that real-time strategies have been, as a whole, have been greatly overlooked for speedrunning and wanted to highlight how fun they could be. All right, and without further ado, we will begin in three, two, one, let's roll. Good luck. Along the, along the run, there will be a lot of fun and interesting units you'll enjoy seeing. The first unit we'll be getting first is Tanya. She is a super infantry unit. Tanya here. I'm going to mostly be peering over your shoulder and trying to interject, comment whenever you're really busy microing or whenever there's silence. Right. You'll be leading the way mostly with the commentary. You do a really good job of explaining what's going on, so... First off, we immediately want to be able to get the commands going. There is a function in the game that where you can chain commands so you can have the infantry work or any other unit uh, autonomously without needing to micro them for every little detail. That's a game and not the later ones. We want to be able to get the GIs moving, helping us out, help us that. The frontmost one we want to send up to the corner, but we'll be getting some tanks and while they're not moving. First mission, you're just getting to the bridge as quickly as possible, building it, and then getting everything across and trying to take out the base quickly. Right, we're just going to be raiding the Soviet base. Uh, we have a brief moment if you want to read anything. Yeah, no, I don't have anything to say to me. It's just a rush to the bridge and building that barracks, getting them them into the repair hut, bridge up, and then you just rush everything across, including the tanks that he's getting at the top right corner. You're just trying to get every asset across the bridge and then coordinate it all, to take all the buildings out. These are the tanks I was referring to. Good work, Commander. Now we want to repair the bridge as fast as possible with some engineers, so we want to get those as close to the bridge as we can. We want the tanks in the front because they'll be taking out things at first before everyone else does. Tanks, you rush in and take out oil barrels usually. That sets up a chain reaction and makes things easier. This requires a lot of microing right here. But here we go. It's got the leaves. And it's a lot of times. I chuck that one up. It's all about getting Tanya where she needs to be, so she can do the most damage and make it easier for everyone else. Everyone plays a pretty important role. The dogs take care of the infantry, Tanya takes care of several buildings, the GIs help destroy the tower, and the tanks take out the sentries. And I the forgot engineers the engineers are. again, that's a very common thing to forget, but it doesn't waste a tremendous amount of time. If it all works out, uh, when Tanya destroys the last building, the engineers have just went in and captured the last buildings. Yes, sir. Alright. Need a repair? We're fine. Yep, so pretty good. So that's mission one. Just over three minutes. This one we are res uh, needing to rescue the. I forgot where were they called again? Yeah, it's the, the, the Air, Air Force. Air Force, right. Air control tower, and then you send the Harriers over. Show me the, way. the GIs are not uh, actually critical for this mission, but they do help with revealing a few parts that make the run a little easier. These are the Rocketeers. They are able, they are jump jet infantry, and they can fly in the air. Very useful, use, even competitively. Yeah, the Rocketeers we use to sabotage the base. Sucking up. 
I'll take the high road. Missile that passes to the top right. Boosters. If it managed correctly, we do not have to worry about the other units in the meantime while we micro these guys. Tanya is completely on our own for now. Don't have to worry about her. Once both of the flat turrets go down in each base, you get reinforcements. We're waiting for the GIs in the top right base. So much easier. If we're all lucky, we can manipulate the enemy to not being able to build their war factory. It saves a little bit of our time. Yep. Those reinforcements are the engineers that will help us take back our base. What are you guys doing? Taking a few things that we need. Rob, get some assistance. Rob, get some assistance. Read a donation for you. And then once the flight turret goes down, the front of them. Yeah, he's got dropped in. You got an order? On there! Shushing! You can take out the sentry only if there's one attacking her. If there's any more, she risks dying. And if she dies, the mission is over. Yep, gotta keep Tanya alive, always. Um, we can read a donation here for just a moment. Alright. Rovane donates $30 and says, Hey Rom, donating for some more CNC love. Much luck. Maybe we'll get a gold livery skin. Sweet. Thanks, Rovan. He's actually a runner for this game as well. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We actually did manipulate them into not being able to build their war factory. That'll help a lot. Now the only problem we have to deal with is really the war miners. War miners are very robust. We need a lot of power to get them down. Uh, one of the most uh, most useful build, uh, commands in this game is the attack move. They will automatically attack anything in their way. And unfortunately, I forgot about this one. This is easy to forget about. You have to take out the last sentry over here as well. Yep. Would have been possibly a new record had I done that. That's right. Good type nonetheless. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be un done under a, under a minute. It's so fast. We're just going to sneak behind the enemy base and take out the psychic beacon that has my control of Washington D.C. The IFV, yeah, the IFVs are very uh, very much utility unit, so they have a lot of abilities. Unfortunately, we're not going to really use all that right now. I don't know why that clicking went mad. Securing position. High speed, low drag. On our way, sir. Good to go. Outstanding. Don't need to worry too much about taking the damage. Securing position. Outstanding. Michael here is very precise. Good to go. High speed, low drag. Good to go. We hug against the wall so we can begin to take up this ore refinery, which is what is used to cap the uh, obtain cash. Also using the wall as a shield, because rhino tanks come and try and attack, and without the wall we would have no chance here. Now that we have an elite. Because the, the crate that I grabbed early on made a veteran, and now that made this unit an elite. It now has incredible firepower, fast enough to take this out. The IFVs are insanely overpowered. Yes, they are. Especially a lot of the units, if they get high, uh, ranked high enough, become insanely overpowered. Yeah, especially the cheap ones. They become so much more useful. Commander, whatever it is we're paying you, it isn't enough. I don't know how you got us out of this mess, but I'm extremely grateful. After this is over, I'm going to promote you to whatever you like, except president. <laughs> Not as good as and Nicholas Wachtel as I need you out there. Soviet leader. Yeah, the acting in this game is really good. Very humorous. Amazing. What did you say? It's amazing, top notch. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> this mission is also a really fast one. They're just really, out of three missions, they all uh, three of the missions are done in under three minutes, or under a minute. This is another one of them. With them moving and as fast as possible. As Some trivia. The way that you speedrun this mission is the only way that I have ever completed this mission. Even since I was a kid. Anywhere. Yeah, same here. This was one of the missions I accidentally figured out how to speedrun the first time I played it. <laughs> yeah. I'm separating the Rocketeers because the enemy anti-air attacks and uh, their attacks is more of an area effect. So if they're all clumped together, they all get killed very quickly. We want the first one to die by themselves. Managing the boats at the same time because they're arguably more useful than the Rocketeers. We're taking out the Psychic Dominator that is controlling the entire East Coast. Yep. 
And actually, that was really good for the Rocketeers. Yeah, there's a lot of them still there. Good time. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Commander, they never saw us coming. That was splendid. Dear me, you foul American fanatic wherever you are. You can work your armies like a puppeteer all you want. But this is my play. Here is the city that you have saved. Without the psychic amplifier, which you so rashly destroyed, I no longer have much use for you. Behold the power of Mother Russia! And that's it. Unfortunately, Chicago is now gone, but it's much better than losing the entire planet. Or the entire US, at least. <laughs> that's a good speedrun mission. Yeah, so it requires mostly just managing a few units and managing Tanya. Yeah. The very beginning part is mostly managing the spies. And luckily we got the good RNG, so now we can start off early. Yes, or Indeed. save a little time by comparison. Yeah. And despite being so, very posh and very elite, we make our spies dress up as dogs. It doesn't really make any difference, but How it's very entertaining. Somehow they pull off. Take it, baby! Mission on my way. You got an order. The little sharp screech you're hearing is me telling them to stop and pack anything nearby. It's a lot of spice on fire and forget, they just do their job and take over the fire channel. Right, once they're on their own, they are they should be fine. So now we're just sending Tanya up. Whoops! We're fine. It's not gonna waste that much time. Yeah, so the map opens up and expands and then you can uh, get up to the targets. If you're not very careful, Tanya will get eaten by a dog and instantly be killed. Yeah. So I gotta keep an extra sharp eye on that. Alright. Sir, be on the lookout for Soviet guard dogs. They've been released to sniff out our spies. I'm on. On my way. On my way. But Tanya helps a lot to do an attack move. That's what uh, we usually do with her. Keeps her alive, and then the micro's a bit easier to deal with. Moving out, boss. Moving out, boss. I'm on, baby. I'm on. It was really all my fault for her getting killed too. I should have been looking at the spies when they should when they're perfectly fine by themselves. Yeah, I mean, now we're past that. I'm there. Either here, so we can know where the Soviet nuclear silos are, which actually aren't very far away. If they just walked around, they would have found them. Incoming transmission. How about a target? It looks like we're in. Our spies have infiltrated the Soviet's battle lines and they laid the spets on their side. Frank loves to attack this tree occasionally. If we don't happen to kill him on the way. And we're here in time. Shake it, baby! I'm on it. Move it out. Over there, Tanya. Sometimes the pathing can be awkward if you don't micro them too much. Yeah. I'm on it. So Tanya meets up with some freedom fighters here. I think they are. I'm yeah. Or, uh, some uh, POWs. Yeah, POWs. That's on it. On my way. Freedom fighters are there. Not yet. Shake it, baby. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. There's a leap tank here that is really useful. Yeah, you can actually baby. use that to take out one of the silos, and that's what we're doing. Or can send Tanya on the way sooner. This tank will be the one to take out the nuclear silo because, as you can see, it's also elite, so it does tremendous amounts of damage. Yeah. Otherwise, Tanya would have to be the one to destroy it. This little pool of water is interesting because if you don't micro her, she'll want to zigzag a lot. Not quite sure why. That's a cork of red alert too in the hole. There's a lot of zigzagging that goes on if you can keep an eye on it. Get the dog, get the barrel, and get the last silo. Yep. If she dies during the ending, she will. The mission will lose despite technically winning. That actually went all right. Actually, that might have even been really good. I don't know. Let's check that later. That was a pretty good time. A few seconds, being personal best or all time best. Mm -hmm. Now this is the longest mission of the game, but luckily it's only about eight minutes. Damn it! Come on. 
Navigation system. Allied ship reporting. Navigation I have system. I've some very interesting to show you. We'll be using the units in the craft soon, and right now I'm just setting up the getting ready to be able to place buildings down so I can make some infantry to get ready to invade the Soviet base. There's two Soviet bases on this map, the orange one and the red. The orange one we're going to take out very, very quickly using the infantry inside the craft right now. Once they get here, we'll be setting it up. It's also one of the more critical points in the mission, in the run that things can go bad pretty easily. So I'll be making backups at that time. Back to saves. And red alert too, when you take out all of the production facilities, the AI sells everything and just throws it at you, and that's what we're going to use here for uh, each of the bases. We're, yeah, we're abusing uh, computer ignorance. We have time for donation reading if there happens to be any. Allied ship reporting. Steady as she goes. Navigation systems ready. Ready! There isn't at the moment, yes, but there Allied is an upcoming uh, bid war between we're micromanaging the GIs really specifically because if they're not lined up, it can be quite chaotic handling them getting to the enemy base as fast as possible. Yeah. Once they garrison the building, you want all of them to be in the building for maximum firepower, and so they're exposed for as little time as possible to take out all the buildings. Right. We want to be able to attack as much before the Tesla coil, which you'll see here in a moment, kills him. Or take yeah. out the building. It's only a matter of time and there's a short window, you have to remove most of it. Okay, and this is where we're going to back up because things can go south real easily depending on how they have things set up. Yeah. Navigation systems ready. I've still managed to base at the same time. Okay, that should be reasonably good. Looking good. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. We can make this out without having to reload. Send out GIs. Yeah. Can you make it? Okay, good. Now that they have no unit production facilities, they are immediately selling everything off and coming to attack the base. We'll be just fine with them attacking. Good done, bro. Unit promoted. Yes, they're just not they're just not gonna survive. Rip in peace. Now we're just preparing some units to be able to raid their base. We're gonna be raiding them with some engineers because it only takes one engineer to capture an enemy building, as you just saw. So we're gonna be doing that again with the red base and their buildings are a little more spread out, so we're gonna take a little more time on that. Be able to prepare for it. Channel clear. Destination. Setting up control groups because they help manage the game much easier. It's much easier to manage the units that way. And prepare some rocketeers once things once we have the cash. Because they're, they're eventually going to be overwhelming the base similar to what the orange is doing right now. And we want to be able to prepare for that. Yeah, they just throw everything at those like dance three prison towers. That prison tower never survives, unfortunately. Engineering unit ready. Channel clear. Engineering. Won't be late. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Unit reporting. On our way, sir. Oh, that one's alive, though. I've got the knowledge. Yes, sir. Engineering. Moving. Need a repair? Moving. Ready to roll. Oh, I never did tell it to go over. Position. No, go over here. Outstanding. I don't know how that happened. Um, yes, sir. Bound forward. Mark them to get gems instead. Engineering. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the second group that will be taking out the war factory, and the planes that I've been building will be taking out the barracks, ready, which sir. produces infantry. High speed, high These guys speed, will be taking out the construction speed, yard. Bound forward. And Good then that's go. everything, and they sell everything, and throw it all out the prison towers, and then you just mop up. Go. Rocketeers do a good job of helping go. with the mop up. Yeah, they, they can get in the back of the Securing line position. real quickly, and they take care of the really slow infantry. Good to go. Unit ready. And if something gets stuck across the map, which doesn't usually happen, then Rocketeers are quick on the spot. Here comes the ADHD tank that doesn't know whether it wants to attack or not. <laughs> if you do a special dance, he'll go away. See if we can get him to go away in time. Indecisive Rhino. 
We're good. Commencing assault. Engineering. Bye. Channel clear. Also plant that down. Ready to roll. Unit reporting. Ready to roll. Okay, good. I thought the tank was gonna go back at him. Destination commander. <laughs> Need a repair. Need a repair. Destination commander. Now we're setting up to be able to take the construction yard. Engineering. High speed. Low speed. Need a repair. Okay, we got it. Destination commander. Final reporting. Now we're gonna back this up as well because things can go sour here. Unit reporting. I don't want to take that free damage, please. Unit Bound reporting. Forward. Bound forward. I told them to go away, but they're not listening. Destination securing position. position. Securing position. Aircraft ready to roll. High speed, build. low drag. Securing position. On our way, sir. Bound forward. Need a repair. Unit reporting. Oh, uh, they got they got hit by the sentry in the back. Damn it. Yeah, that sucks. Ready to high speed. Roll. Securing low position. Drag. Wow! Come, come on. on here. Destination go. Go. Securing low position. Low Securing position. Channel clear. Ready. On our way, sir. Just so I don't have to deal with that constantly now. Bound forward. Good to go. Outstanding. Got the knowledge. Securing the position. Ready. I've got the knowledge. Schematic. Wow, that timing! Wow, come on! <laughs> Keep going. Pilot report us ready to roll. Securing the repair. Destination ah. commander. Engineering. Yes, sir. Studying blueprint. Pilot report. Okay, we got the war factory. Hopefully, we can take out this now. If they don't repair it too much in time. Bloody hell! It doesn't go this bad normally in my runs. I swear. In there. Okay, good. So we got it. Pilot reporting. Do I have them on radar? Okay, that's actually really terrible. For some reason, they're too spread out. So I'm gonna have to micro them way too Hold off with the front one. I'll try to make it. Those engineers are not going to make it. Okay, this should work. This won't work. Pilot reporting. High speed Engineering schematic. Yeah, there's a lot of threats. There's sentry turrets that are hidden in the trees. There's uh, black tracks that just come out of nowhere. There's so much that can go wrong. Now we can finally move onward. <laughs> you got. <laughs> New rally points established. Now we're gonna start oh, using the, uh, the uh, rocket here to start taking out the. We will be destroyed by by our base defenses. Now that we are just building, I'm showing off. Mm. You're not even the construction yard if you know what those. Yeah, there's just a big chain now of suicidal units. It's never gonna work. Nope. I'm gonna check over here just in case there's any serious laggers that aren't gonna waste any time. You know, some, sometimes units' AIs mess up and they're just lagged behind, just static, so you have to watch out for that. Don't have to worry about the front most ones over here because they're going to be killed immediately as soon as they get there. And even if these towers don't get them in time, the units will. Yes. You just try to take out the bloody war miners. That's you know, Yeah, that's a lot. Down the bridge. Because then the prison towers get them much sooner. Yeah. Actually, are they going to be able to handle all those? I'm not sure. Like I was saying earlier, war miners are really, really robust, and because prison towers are so overpowered when you have them in groups, they usually take them out in one shot. And that's it! Right. Part time real quick, I'll pause for just a brief moment.
It's, they expect you to take an hour and fi about 75 minutes to take it. We did it in under 10. <laughs> oh, and this is also... Uh, uh, go ahead. Even with those, those uh, foul-ups that happened because of the... those problems, we still... This missile uh, mission is also the uh, third one that we do in under a minute. Kid, how to beat very, very quickly, unintentionally, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. I can explain it if you want. Go ahead. Yeah, the victory conditions are to destroy every. There's not meant to be any buildings. The level design are just plant sentry turret that you're not meant to ever. Well, as soon as you take out the sentry turret, you fulfill the victory conditions before the mission even starts. So we're just sending rocketeers up and the Harrier. Um, that's the fastest that could possibly be in any way ever. All fired up. Yeah, I can't think of it. The naval units cannot get there in time, and these are the only units that can. Yeah, not many variables, so this is it. Well, the only variable is RNG based on the unit movement. Because sometimes the rock shares don't move very smoothly. Also, there's this fire or two rockets instead of one. <laughs> that happens? Yeah, it happened in my uh, heart. Run. Oh, nice. Mission. Peace. No one ever has. They're doomed to. And this one has an infamous glitch, which I'm actually going to try to avoid for the sake of time. Tanya, for whatever reason, if moved directly, she will quote unquote die on the way going to this base. I don't want to waste too much time. Away, sir. How about a target? Show me the way. I'm there. I don't, don't quite know what causes it, but I'm guessing it's because of her state being above a bridge where she's both in the air and on the ground. So the game gets confused and doesn't know her condition. Because that's about when the trigger for checking if she's alive or not starts. So during that time, they get very confused and assume she's dead when she's not. Schrodinger's Tanya. What's that? Schrodinger's Tanya. Uh-huh. Back move her here so they can take out the annoying GIs. And ideally the conscripts that will help us out later, uh, that will be a problem later on. Luckily she at least got one. Can do. On our way there. Engineers aren't useful, they're just here for high candy, I guess. I won't be late. We capture this, even though it does have so we don't use it at all. Uh. Gives us something to do. On yeah. My way. Double time. Show me the way. Shake it, baby. Be able to donations that I can read. Go ahead. All right. We have an anonymous five dollar donations. Need can we get an APM yes, counter sir. on the stream, Kappa? Thank you for your $5 donation. We also have another $5 donation from Timrod, who says, Donating because there is no stopping this train wreck. This loop. Uh, <laughs> too, a little too late, we got through it. Thank you, though. <laughs> okay, now that we have the second beacon open, dropped, units will now start joining our cause, including yeah, civilians. Unit lost. And we're going to be using the tanks that we'll be getting here in a moment. Yeah, reinforcements arrive and it includes prison tanks, which are a really powerful unit. We'll be seeing the prison tanks here in a moment. Where's the party? Destination commander? Unit report. Here they are right now. We'll be show them off here in a moment. Commander? Outstanding. It's Einstein's prison tank on wheels. Voice the lab called a prison tank. So now we're using three groups here, Tanya, the regular grizzly tanks, medium tanks, and the prison tanks. We have to coordinate them all to keep each other alive and take out the base. I'm actually going to go ahead and back this up because sometimes Tanya you can get eaten by a dog and then we'll reset the whole mission if she does. Yeah, you've got to do a lot of things here. You've got to dodge V3 rockets, you've got to watch out for dogs, desolators come along. The rhino tanks rolling around. And of course the Tesla coil, which the prison tanks are a great counter to. 
As soon as the Tesla coil goes down, the base is opened up. Can move the tanks in. Oh, that's. I hope she can make that. Nope, then. Oh well. I thought I'd taken that out. Yeah, that always happens. They always rebuild. At the last seconds. Oh, they do. Yes, sir. Good to go. That's what happens when you're not paying sharp attention to Tanya. Yeah. Yes, sir. It doesn't help that the center turret is right behind the refinery. It's hiding itself. Yeah, so it's, you occasionally don't even notice that. Yeah. Stop taking too much damage. Looking good so far. So they can't rebuild anything because the construction yard's down. So once you take out the center turrets now, they stay down. And then it's just a matter of taking out the barracks and the water. That's close. Those <laughs> dogs. We want to keep the prison tanks alive till the end so they can take out these conscripts that are trapped inside the walls where the battle lab was. Yeah, prison tanks can fire through walls and sandbags. And that's it. We don't even have to make any bases. Yep. Nice. So the Soviets are now trying to clone our prism technology in the South America, so we're now going to send in some Navy SEALs to handle this out. This mission actually is quite micro-intensive in order to save as much time as possible. Yeah, this is probably the best mission for a speedrunner that's really looking for every opportunity to cut time out. A lot of opportunities. Yes, I mean, this mission could probably easily be improved by at least 15 seconds still. Yeah, maybe SEALs are like Tanya, they're really powerful. And you have five of them that you can micro around. This is too easy. Just Seal setting them up so they can quickly this take out the units easy. in a particular order. Seal ready. Every and Navy SEAL here has a role, so when one Navy SEAL goes down, something Who's else has dead? to step Who's up and take dead? over, and that's when things can go wrong. So, Ron is going to do his best to keep them all alive and have them do their job. I'm your man. Ah, ah. See you ready. Down. Keep moving, bud. Ah. This is too easy. Ah. 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 I want to get the tanks up first because otherwise they'll go around and waste a little bit of time. Smooth, thanks. Get the Navy Seals close enough so we can, and the engineers should not be going down that quickly. Oh well. I've got the knowledge. Let's get it yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, the engineers, we need to capture power uh, Tesla reactors and also the experimental prism towers that they have here. They help us a lot. They're lagging a little behind than usual. So there's a lot of uh, rhino tanks in this base, and we have to use GIs to to try and get their attention. Once you attack uh, the barracks, the rhino tanks from the base all converge, and then you can lure them in and get them to take Wait a minute, fire how the hell did that, what did I capture that made me see the whole base? I don't recall that happening. Uh, that's what happens when you take over a prison tower. I don't remember that ever occurring. First time it's happened to me. Really? Yeah. Maybe I have to do it first or something? I don't know, I'll watch that and look at that later. <laughs> Uh, now we're moving through and trying to take out as much of the base as we can. We want to use these guys to invoke the wrath of the units and then fall back to the prison tower so they can immediately be protected. Yeah. We're just luring all the tanks into a trap because the tanks are really hard to take out. There's not much that we have here that can take out the tanks. Navy SEALs can take out buildings and infantry really easily. They're like Tanya's, like I said. So we have to make sure the tanks roll down, otherwise, they are a big problem. Unfortunately, there's that tank that's still there, so I have not to deal with him. I need to use the tank to distract the sentry so the Navy SEALs can blow him. Yeah, you can stick the Navy SEALs past. Uh, this all worked, though. Now we're just taking care of the last buildings.
I got him. I got him. Special delivery. And we use Prism Towers to take out the remainder. And somehow he died, so now we're going to have to move with a little extra time to kick, take care of the last tower. Yeah. Yes, sir! Alright. Could have gone better, but uh, oh, we can make this work. This mission is also one where you quick, uh, it's beaten relatively quickly. We don't even give the enemy the opportunity to build their t uh, construction yards. Just bu even yeah. build their bases. The MCVs, construction yard vehicles, they just roll in undeployed and they are usually lightly guarded. So there's there's a few ways that you can take them out and then you've totally crippled an entire AI faction. I'm going to use a little safer strat with the engineers for now because the Navy SEAL strats I've been trying out just haven't been working out well lately. This is the first mission that we get Mirage tanks and they're really powerful. They can, they're can they good against everything except for buildings pretty much. And it's good because we're only going to be attacked by infantry and tanks. So Mirage tanks are a great counter here once they use the engineer trap to take out the MCVs. Destination, Destination commander. Yes, sir. Don't need those anymore. And the Mirage tanks will help greatly during this mission. Vehicle ready. Outstanding. Yes, sir. High speed, low drag. Destination commander. You can see us later to help us take out the swarming infantry. New rally point. Unit reporting. Destination commander. Outstanding. Bound for. Out of the way, so you don't get attacked like that. Bound forward, good to go. Unit ready. High speed, low drag. Vehicle ready. Unit reporting. Vehicle ready. Unit Verifying everyone's okay. Something we do here is we put Navy SEALs in IFVs because then we have a really fast moving anti infantry unit. Destination commander, good to go. The tanks are going to be taking care of the MCV in the north, while these two will be taking care of the other yes, MCVs. Bound forward. Yeah. High yes, speed, low outstanding. Drag. Good to go. Promoted. Outstanding. Yes, sir. Securing position. Ready. Engineering. Analyzing Analyzing schematics. Unit report. Ready to roll. So we're just waiting on for them to deploy and then sneak it in and capture them as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Vehicle ready. I have the tools. Right send a lot at you. There's a lot of infantry tanks that come. Action. Yeah, they are. On the move. Like yes, sir. Outstanding. Destination commander. Destination commander. Destination ready to roll. Outstanding. Ready. They all converge in the middle though, so if you yes, just sir. place Good to go. Mirage tanks and have IFVs ready to roll out, you can uh, Securing position. chew through them quickly. Good to go. High speed, low drag. Oh. We're looking for these big blobs of infantry. Because they take a lot of time to mow down. Okay, the tanks are chasing them now, so I have to run back to the base as fast as I can. Yeah. On our way, sir. Outstanding. On our way, sir. Sometimes they can see the Mirage yep, tanks, most of the time they don't. High speed, low drag. Yeah. Vehicle ready. Bound forward. High speed, low yep, drag. Sir. Destination command. High speed, low drag. Outstanding. Bound forward. They're oh, safe now that we pick oh. out the remainder of the units in the Securing back. Position. Yep, sir. Destination command. Oh. Ready to roll. It's almost always the infantry that are the last ones. Sometimes you have a V3 rocket somewhere that you've forgotten about. Man, that felt a lot better than I thought it was. Yeah, that's pretty good. This one's a favorite of mine, personally. Yeah, me too. This is a parody of the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> well, it's almost quite literal, also, in some respects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even in our alternate warped universe that's only made up, it still happens. Commander, I thought I'd seen everything, but this takes the cake. You guessed it, mind-controlled squid. Intelligence informs me that effective counter- We're not even gonna bother with the naval units. Dolphins, which are now at your disposal. What's next? Killer whales? 
good luck there. So this mission is uh, mostly a build order thing, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a chronosphere built as quickly as possible, and then you use that to teleport in prism tanks, which are really, really good against buildings, and the objective here is to take out a nuke silo, so get the chronosphere, build prism tanks, warp them in, boom. Three nuke silos, I misspoke. Just throwing a few things out that we're never going to have to even bother to using. So we can have some spare cash because it will end up being pretty close to what we need. You can only teleport in nine prism tanks with the chronosphere effect radius. So to save time, he's going to be building harriers too to take out one of the nuke silos. Yeah. Yeah, and if and if things go really sour and the harriers are not able to take out the nuclear silo, we do have backup strats to be able to take all three out. It requires more management. While we're building, we got to be somewhat careful about that bridge. Make sure that the enemy units don't come across. Yeah, because the AI likes to power drop in engineers to repair the bridge, so you've always got to keep an eye on that. I really liked this mission when I was a kid because I was always overwhelmed with everything. There was yeah. always so much going on. Now we want to start the prism take production. For the most part, this is a relaxed mission as long as you don't make sure that the bridge is destroyed. Everything is more of a, a little bit of a wait based on how fast you can build the chronosphere. So we have some time for donation, reading donations if you have any. Construction complete. I don't, but I can clarify that earlier I made a mistake in that the next run is 100% reverse possible. Both. Oh wow, that's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty neat. I've never even heard of that before, so uh, that's what's coming up. Unit ready. Now we're just waiting on the build order. How much else going on in the meantime? But you'll get a nice cutscene here in a moment. The best cutscene in the whole game. God, I love cutscenes. Or one of them. This message best one is on this mission anyway. Who continues to dance, but ceases to amuse. Now is time to submit to Soviet Supremacy Commander. After you feel pain from my nuclear bombs, you will wish for another chance. Unit reporting. He almost sounds like he's crying to that moment, honestly. Unit ready. We almost have all the buildings deployed. Make sure Special they don't come across. Delivery. Unit report. Securing position. Destination command. On our way, sir. Unit Bound for Unit report. report. Yes, sir. What unit can we have lost? Must, oh, it must have been the GI. Construction complete. They're no longer building anything. I'm just. Building. We are actually still building something. Thank God I thought of that. Unit Orders. Structure. But we don't need the, the barracks. Yes, sir. This won't waste a tremendous amount of time. Might not even waste any, depending on how the chronosphere works out. Unit ready. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. Building. Primary building. Unit report. Securing position. New rally point established. Destination commander. Unit ready. Almost there. Destination Auto commander. Carriers, at least. Insufficient funds. Unit ready. We don't need all the present tanks, but it just it's just a yes, safety strat. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the production in order to get the Harriers going faster. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Bound forward. Can't sell anything off just yet. There's just one more thing. Yes, sir. Good to go. Building. Unit ready. Okay, now that the Harriers can finally start moving, we've got to maneuver them a little more than usual because of the timing and the cycles of the enemy anti-air. Yep. Unit reporting. There's a lot of anti-air, which is why we have so many Harriers. We'll go. Oh, bloody hell. We'll go, That's like one of the worst possible spots for them to be in right now. <laughs> Luckily, they're not hunting me down because they have a really large attack range, er, uh, sense range. We'll go. Changing vector. Changing vector. Like the wind. Okay, we should be all right. Like the wind. Thrusters engaged. 
Unit ready. We're going in. Oh, forgot to uh, check them, but it doesn't matter now. They took it out, we're fine. And with enough prism tanks, we take them out very quickly. No danger. Yep. Best cutscene right now. <laughs> Best cutscene. I warned you we would destroy you, Commander. Now that warning will... What? Disabled. The missiles have been disabled. But... Uh... <laughs> ah! Your time is up, Commander. And you will be crushed. Very soon. Easy peasy. Just a little bit of a time loss. Not much, though. And now for the final mission, we are going to be make the big raid on cent on the cent part of Russia. The Kremlin. Who's your daddy? I'm your man. Who's your daddy? Let's get it on. Quite a bit of management in this mission, and we're actually going to use the enemy technology against them. This is too easy. Uh, yeah, the Kremlin has gone. I'm going to go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, that's, we're okay. We don't actually need all three seals. I moved them a little too quickly. All right, yeah. Commander, yeah, you have to be careful there, because uh, if you don't take out the Tesla reactors in time, the, the Tesla coils fire, so you can sabotage them. Yeah, you can get the seal. Sorry, no. Yeah, I was going to say that the Kremlin is guarded by your Elite Apocalypse tanks, which are the, be the strongest unit in the game, so you can't take them on with any other unit. Pretty much, they'll just lay you to waste, so you can use... Uh, Yuri clones to commandeer them. Invoking the wrath of one of the enemy units. Want to get their attention. Otherwise, they will cause us a lot of trouble if we're in the base, but it's still there. It's their Apocalypse tank, which is one of the very strongest units in the game. Although it's very useless in multiplayer because of how slow yeah. it goes. I wait for that to be taken out to safely move in. At one health, these things can take out in one hit. Or, at least a few hits. Destination, Commander. On Ready, way, moving sir. out! Uh, 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 knowledge. Orders? Yes, sir. Good to go. So what we're trying to do right now is just get the okay. bones, and that involves okay. taking over buildings that are in their base. Actually, you can take over commentary for now. I'm going to try to focus on this a little more. I've got the Alright, cool. Ready to roll. High speed, low yeah, so the Eurypolons require a battle lab and a barracks so he's going to be trying to sneak in an engineer keep it alive and then once he's got the barracks he's going to make a few Euroclones and put them in IFVs and he's going to sneak the IFVs through the defenses right up flush against the Kremlin walls and then he's going to try and do his best to take over the elite apocalypse tanks maybe have some of them destroy each other once you take out the apocalypse tanks and the defenses the Kremlin has a uh, it's, it's exposed and Tanya walked in so there's a lot of stuff in this base, there's little terror drones that hijack vehicles and chew them up from inside. There's sentry turrets. I thought that was weird. That <laughs> terror drone just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I just sneak right through there. Terror drones are a massive pain in mass for speedrunners in this game. They just move really fast and ruin everything. Unit reporting. Good to go. Please don't get killed by going that direction, even though I really did not want you to go that direction. Okay, he's good. Now we're going to use the enemy technology against them, which are the Yuri clones. Yep. Everyone loves Yuri, which is why they made the expansion with him. This might be completely broken at mind control. <laughs> but that's why everyone loves him so much. Just don't like going against them. Yeah. If you want an example of how overpowered uh, mind control is, just watch this. Alright, back that up. Bound forward. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna send these guys to distract the vessel coils and send start sending the chronal engineers down as well, because they'll be of some use. They're not required, but they do help speed things along and act as a safety measure as well. Because yeah. if the Yuri's all die, it's still technically possible for them to take it out. Yeah. Chrono Legionnaires are also uh, 
an interesting unit. They're really cool. We can uh, temporarily disable and eventually destroy enemy units. They're very vulnerable though if they don't have uh, protection. Bound forward. Unit lost. Tell me the rest clear. Yes, Unit of course. Lost. So there's four elite apocalypse oh. tanks here. And the enemy is uh, making loads of units and trying to just throw spanners on the works. The entire time we're micro here. Predictable. Yes, Commander. We're good, we're good. We gotta be. Okay, we're gonna need some more enemy units. Uh, you distract him. Come on, that one. Okay, we're good. Good improvisation there. Yeah, we're good. Now we're just finishing up. Don't want him to get killed. And that's it, get ready for time. Shortly after entering the building, it will be time. <laughs> time! 50-01. That's a good ass run, dude. Oh, thanks. Actually, I wasn't really good, in my personal opinion, but works but the cutscenes here is really good I enjoyed it after months of brutal fighting Allied forces have captured Soviet Premier Romanov and his Kremlin command post late this afternoon in a dizzying show of high technology and good old military discipline. Much of the credit for the amazing success of the Allied campaign goes to a little-known commander from... And that was it. That was the World War II Allied campaign. There's also a Soviet campaign that Volon has the world record for, and I also have a personal best in. These games are amazing and very easy to learn to play casually. Thank you for watching. I hope to be doing more runs of the series in the future. If you want to see more runs of the series or any other real-time strategy, you can join our Discord channel, which also has Warcraft, Starcraft, Age of Empires, and other games that are growing. This is Realm Master 2, Battle Control, now offline. When you're done patting yourself on the back, I have a little... Thanks for the run, dude. The President has invited you, us, to his victory gala at the White House tonight. I thought maybe you'd want to ride. Just listen for the sound of the healers. Oh, and for heaven's sake, hit the showers, soldier.